In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Morning Offering O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you our prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sin, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of all our bishops and of all the apostles of prayer, and in particular, for those recommended by our Holy Father this month. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz and his companion martyrs, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Francis of Assisi, pray for us. Venerable Ignatia del Espiritu Santo, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Panunumpa sa watawat ng Pilipinas. Ako ay Pilipino, buong katapatang nanunumpa sa watawat ng Pilipinas at sa bansang kanyang sinasagisag na may dangal, katarungan at kalayaan na pinakikilos ng sambayanang makadyos, makakalikasan, makatao at makabansa. Vision St. Mary's College of Mikawayan is a Catholic Ignatian Marian institution nurturing and empowering learners toward ethical and social responsibility for global competence with exemplified lifelong skills. Mission True to our Ignatian Marian identity, we commit ourselves to grow deeper in discernment to be the bearers of hope in today's world, foster learners who witness faith, service, and excellence, pursue innovative programs, approaches, and strategies to develop global professionals, build up resources, capabilities, and opportunities for quality life, and develop the school following the Catholic doctrine. The school we love, St. Mary's is her name. Let's 
St. Mary's College, Everly. Ignatia and Marians, praise be Jesus and Mary. It is an honor to welcome you today as we begin the new school year here at St. Mary's College of Mako, Hawaii. I am Mr. Marjel M. Shoson, your moderator for today. How are you, my dear Ignatia and Marians? I hope you are doing well and fine. Let me see a virtual thumbs up if you are awake, alive, and enthusiastic. St. Mary's College of Nicawayan stood tall amidst the pandemic, sharing true to its mission, guided by its vision, to uphold and bring quality, transformative Ignatian Marian education through the SMCM Instructional Delivery Package or the SIV Package. School year 2020-2021 was challenging yet fruitful because of consolidated hard work, passion, dedication, commitment, and trust in the Lord we conquered the challenges. Today, the new school year 2021 is about to unfold. Let us entrust our dreams, aspirations, and goals, and offer ourselves to God. Good day, dear Marians. Praise be Jesus and Mary. Do you mean going to school? Do you miss your teachers or the stores you used to pass by and buy something for your snacks? Or you miss being accompanied and fetched from the school? What I am sure of is that you miss your friends the most. Yes, we miss so many people and things. Although we see some of them virtually, it is very much different when we see them face to face. I'm sure you even miss people whom you never thought you would miss after one and a half year of staying at home. Most of all, we miss all of you, Marians. The whole school community is certainly grateful for making it through another year. But as we all know, another threat is lurking around us, and that is the Delta virus, the mutated COVID-19 virus, more sophisticated, more deadly, and more contagious than the ordinary COVID-19. With it around us, we need to continue moving forward and hope for better things for the new school year 2021-2022. It is therefore imperative to hold on to God while we do our part in taking care of ourselves, our families, and our school community. God can't do the rest unless we also cooperate in His plan and grace for each one of us. This year is going to be another tough year. Yet, we are positive that St. Mary's College of Mekawayan will surely deliver quality, holistic Ignatian Marian education. What are new this school year? We have refined our curriculum through the integration of both the DepEd most essential learning competencies and the RVM curriculum, which highlights the four-pronged integration, making sure that we give holistic formation. In addition, the pandemic will never stop the enthusiasm of the administration to offer quality education by providing you the special science class, robotics class, STEM modules, on-the-job trainings for college virtual, community activity for the senior high school also virtual, webinars, and other teacher-made online instructions that will surely help you learn best here at St. Mary's College of Mekawai. We have revisited our academic, spiritual, professional, social, and psychological services and have decided to give more so that our school community, you, our dear students, in all levels, our dear parents and other partners will be able to enjoy learning the f with fun and excitement. We also revisited our dot services 
guidance, library, clinic, IT, registrar, and finance units. They too have included more vibrant and new services and activities for next year. To continuously ensure our dear parents, students, and partners of our quality, holistic education and formation as a whole, we will go through our ISO or International Organization for Standardization and PAASCO, Philippine Association of Accredited Schools, Colleges, and Universities this school year. This will ensure not only quality education, but also quality policies and guidelines for the whole school community. It will further improve our services and will give us more opportunities for innovations and worthwhile changes in the institution. Rest assured that SMCL will not settle for what we have now. We will continue to innovate and level with the international standards. Most importantly, being a Catholic school, we will not forget our need to nurture our faith by bringing more spiritual, social, and service-oriented activities. The centrality of what we are doing does not end in the formation of the mind. We firmly believe that one can only and surely develop excellence if there is only fear of the Lord. Our mission is to give holistic formation. Therefore, we also strengthen our activities that will develop not only the minds, but also the hearts and the hands of our dear minds. With all of this to offer, we hope that you will enjoy the ride of another year with us. Our captain is the Lord Himself. We are just the crew and you are our special guests. Welcome to our journey together with the service of love and care from our dear Ates and Pias, our maintenance staff, our non-teaching personnel, our faculty members who have been your second parents, the school administrators who look after your needs, and RBM sisters who pray and support you in your journey. Let us enjoy our new experiences together here at SMCM at Home Ka. On behalf of our President, Sister Maria Hilda Peña Fiel, RBM. This is Sister Maria Marisa Ardeta, RBM, the Executive Vice President, welcoming all of you for school year 2021-2022. Let us learn best at St. Mary's College of Maykawai. Have a well-informed orientation week, Marians. God bless us all. Now let us hear the opening remarks of our beloved, the gorgeous and ever hardworking basic education principal, Mrs. Anna Michelle S. Ricalde. Let us give her a warm virtual applause. Greetings of peace, love, and joy to our Ignatian Marian learners, educators, and parents. Allow me first to congratulate each of you for you were able to surpass a year full of struggles, challenges, and even uncertainties. I also welcome each of you to another exciting, productive, and meaningful school year 2021-2022. True enough, you have experienced a lot of struggles and difficulties because of the pandemic. But you should also not forget that it opens a lot of opportunities for many. You have more time to be with your family, more time to play, more time to pray, reflect, and reconsider some decisions made, more time to recreate, more time to reconnect and help others in need, and most of all, you become more aware of the role you play on earth and just accept that things cannot always go as you want them to go. Just like this pandemic, we all pray that this will end soon and never to happen again, so that we can be together in school, not just virtually, but face-to-face -face in the soonest possible time. We also experienced a lot of difficulties and hardships last year, especially during the implementation of our SMC and Instructional Delivery Package, both for online and modular distance learning. But because of your deep sense of patience, understanding, 
trust and love to the institution, we were able to make it this far. Since we are now on the second year of the implementation of the online and modular distance learning, review and revisions were done by all departments and units to further improve its offerings and services. The result of the SIP package evaluation and Saturday with parents activities last year were considered during the annual strategic planning to provide you with an improved curricular offerings and services this school year. To our learners, continue to fulfill your mission and purpose to be agents of change by applying and make sense of all the values, Bible passages, across discipline and social awareness that we have tried to integrate well in your daily lesson. This RP and pedagogy integration in your lesson is what makes you unique with other learners all over the world. Be the Ignatian Marian future leaders that we developed and dreamed you to be so that you can create a future that is pure, bright, great, and amazing for all of us. We count on you. My heartfelt appreciation also goes out to the parents, teachers, school administrators, and staff of SMCM who have loved and supported our learners day in and day out. We continue to bear in our hearts and minds that we do put on for the mission of education, for our love for the children entrusted to our care, and for God's greater glory. As we welcome another school year, we will prove once again that with deepened faith, humble service, and zeal for excellence, we can accomplish great things as one Ignatian Marian family. Always remember that we are all in this together. Thank you very much. God bless and keep safe. Always. To introduce to us the faculty lineup for this new academic year, let us have Ms. Rina Isukila, the Head of the Human Resource and Development Office. Let's give her a warm virtual applause. Despite all the threats and challenges because of the pandemic, we all move forward and SMCN continue to deliver the best Catholic education catering to all types of modalities through the seed package and assured all Ignatian Marians that despite distance, they are still at home with us. As the people inside the institution unite in one direction, they transformed nothing to something and from there became everything. This people together with all of you who continues to trust SMCM remain committed and loyal to serve all Ignatian Marians. I am proud to present to you the SMCM personnel for school year 2021-2022. Let's begin with the Administrative Council. Our school president, Sister Maria Hilda Peñafiel RBM. Our Executive Vice President, Sister Maria Marisa Ardeta RBM. Our Vice President for Finance, Sister Maria Victoria Haban RBM. Our Christian Formation Center Head and Campus Minister, Sister Maria Nazia Javed, RBM. Our College Dean and IT Program Advisor, Mr. Michael Boyes. And our IVET Principal, Mrs. Anna Michelle Ricalde. Our MPP Head and MR, Mrs. Jocelyn Guerra. And your Studi, the Human Resource Head and Research Coordinator, Ms. Celia Sofia. I present to you now the middle administrators. We start with the Marketing and Scholarship Coordinator, Mrs. Adelaida Cabuyan. Our Prefect of Students for the IBED, we have Ms. Clarita Calera. And our Institutional Staff, Mr. Jonas Matthew Marquez. Our College Program Advisors for the BSA, BSPA Program, Mr. Vincent Almendares. For Education, Mrs. Cordelia Ignacio and for HMTM, Ms. Desiree Angeles. Our Academic Coordinators for K-10 and also the Science Coordinator, Mrs. Cynthia Robles and a Senior High School Coordinator and POS for the SHS, we have Mr. Benjamin Ganeras Jr. Our Subject Area Coordinators 
for Arlene Panitinan, Ms. Milet Almario. For PLE Mate, Mr. McDonald Colantes. For Mathematics, Mrs. Teresita Sinsin. And for Christian Living, Ms. Marina Kitling. For Filipino, we have Ms. Angelica Sambahon. And for English, Mrs. Nipa Robles. Our SMCM faculty, we begin with the grade school teachers. Mrs. Lori Tendano, Ms. Giselle Padovino, Ms. Rachel Agamata, Ms. Chalisa Del Socorro, Ms. Lea Reyes, Ms. Jaka Isla, Ms. Hannah Linondo, Mr. Ron John De Castro, Mrs. Wilma Garote, Ms. Earl White Cambao, Ms. Raisel Suba, and lastly, we have Ms. Mildred Tan, Mrs. Josephine De Los Santos, and Mrs. Chavio De Los Santos. Let's meet the junior high school teachers. Ms. Raniela Kiel Santos, Ms. Kathleen Senarin, Ms. Reverie Makailog, Mrs. Renita Teresa, Ms. Rainbell Edusil, Mrs. Concordia Benero, Mr. John Irvin Odaibar, and Ms. Myra Jane Langet. We also have Ms. Mercedita Reyes, Mrs. Gloria Santa Cruz, Mr. Kim Ansis Ponce, and Mrs. Charmaine Asoy. Now I present to you the senior high school teachers. Mr. Juancho Cruz Jr., Mr. Ron Dominic Ashonis, Mrs. Imelda de la Sena, and Mr. Romel Esquera. We also have Mr. Luis Benedict Reyes, Mr. Mark Gerald Choso, and Mr. Simon Sanchez. For the college, we have Mr. Adrian Malapi, Ms. Georgia Lagradilla, and Mr. Dan Bellarmino. We also have Mr. Jose Maria Coronel, Ms. April Mendoza, and Ms. Aida Mauri. Our part-timers, Ms. Rosalyn Ramera, Mr. Leo Marcelaniano, Ms. Divine Grace Domingo, Mr. Marla Agarao, Ms. Cara Arnaiz, Ms. Maris Macarilla. Our non-teaching personnel, we begin with Mrs. Marilu Aguilar, Ms. Priscilla Martin, Ms. Sheila DeHarde, and Ms. Rose Donato. We also have Ms. Mary Lee Caforte, Ms. Charisse Cobin, Mrs. Rebecca Santos, and Ms. Crystal Dio. Ms. Fatima Alejandino, Ms. Angelica Fabitin, Mrs. Gina Flores and Ruiz, and Ms. Mrs. Carina Carcedo. We also have Mrs. Rochelle Valdez, Ms. Gina Ferrante, Ms. Margie K. Pimentel, and Ms. Rizaline Kaanawa. Then we have Ms. Eloisa Soriano, Mrs. Diana Cortez, and Ms. Candy Hernandez. We also have Mr. Juan Nico de Guzman, Mr. Rizaldi Roque, Mr. Nico Manal, and Mr. Vincent Tomlin. Our maintenance personnel we have Mr. Noel Arellano, Mr. Adrian Bernardo, Mr. Ray Daniel, Mr. Ranel Masanghi, Mr. Rodrigo Dumahad, and Mr. Carlito Maha. We also have Mr. Ronnie Carcedo, Mrs. Emerson Neha, Mr. Ben Oliveira, Mr. Joubert Sadiknan, Ms. Rossi Sarmiento, and Ms. Antoinette Sabasa. We have our drivers, Mr. Harley Ignacio and Mr. Martin Mantang. We, I also present to you our RBM community together with Sister Hilda, Sister Marisa, Sister Vicky, and Sister Nazi. We also have Sister Maria Johanna Umba Puti RBM, Sister Maria Mariance Taibano RBM, Sister Maria Ermelinda Eli RBM, and Sister Maria Flaviana Depu RBM. Welcome to school year 2021-2022 to St. Mary's College of Nicoa. To present the latest updates with regards to the academics for the senior high school level, let us all welcome our senior high school coordinator, 
Mr. Benjamin R. Llaneras. Let us give him a warm virtual applause. Good day, National Marians. Praise be Jesus and Mary. This time, I would like to share with you some senior high school academic updates for school year 2021-2022. I would like to inform everyone that based from the PASCO visit last school year 2019-2020, we passed this kind of preliminary accreditation. That's why the senior high school level will be having the first formal visit from the PAASCU on March 17 and 18, 2021 together with the K-10 level. That's why our endeavor this school year is to pattern in the curriculum and instruction area of the PAASCU accreditation. In the curriculum area of the senior high school, Modules were revised and checked based on the alignment from NALC or most essential learning competencies in RV and pedagogy. That's why our modules now should be a dynamic one. And at the same time, this will be an innovative modules wherein students are encouraged to become participative and interactive. Aside from our modules, we are also continuing the utilization of our STEM learning system for our STEM students in order to add some features of skills development necessary for their training and for their uh, future endeavors as STEM students. Aside from STEM learning, STEM learning system, we will be also having new teachers in this school here, and that is the robotics. Uh, robotics are in line with the discovery of wonderful world of science, mathematics, and engineering. That's why in robotics, we will be including here the grade 11 STEM and grade 11 IC. Now, let's move forward in the teaching learning process area. In the teaching learning process area, we actually use deep processing strategies in order to develop deep processing of knowledge. Aside from that, we actually use various innovative and creative teaching approaches in order to deliver with quality the instructions to our students. This has been with this kind of innovative and creative teaching strategies we actually employ differentiated instructions for the social development and at the same time for the cognitive development of our senior high school students because these differentiated instructions tend to have interactions and participation among students. Now, let's move forward in the learning outcomes area. In the senior high school level of St. Mary's College of Nikowayan, we actually employ the utilization of instructional materials such as the modules and different kinds of assessment and at the same time, various kinds of innovative and creative strategies. That's why when we combine this together, we can actually develop lifelong skills to our students. Uh, Aside from these lifelong skills, we can actually develop functional skills based from the given memo of the DepEd and the 21st century skills consistent, consistent to each senior high school strands. So these skills, the lifelong skills, the functional skills, and the 21st century skills are necessary, significant, in order for us to have a successful senior high school exits. We actually have four senior high school exits that we are actually expecting after the graduation of the senior high school students. What are those? The four senior high school exits are the following. Entrepreneurship, employment, higher education, and middle level skills development. 
So at the end of the two years additional course in the senior, in the high school, which is the senior high school, we are expecting our students to become competent, globally competitive in order to transform their lives to become an entrepreneur, to become members of the workforce, to enter in the tertiary education, and to have skills, skills needed for their development in their future endeavor. So that is the learning outcomes area of the senior high school level. Now in the assessment and evaluation of student learning area, here in the senior high school, we actually employ performance-based assessment through group collaboration and differentiated instructions. We actually using this, we are actually utilizing this kind of activities in order to employ formative and summative assessment. We are actually using GRANPA. What is the idea of GRANPA? Grading and performance assessment. And we have clusters of this GRANPA in order to develop and to record their scores. These scores are being uh, reported to our students in order to give feedback. These feedback are necessary in order to identify different learning progression to our students. And that is the assessment and evaluation of student learning area. Let's move forward to the co-curricular programs and activities area in the senior high school. In here, we actually have various academic programs. Academic programs are in support of the teaching learning process in, to our students in order for us to develop more functional skills, 21st century skills, and lifelong skills. So we have intervention programs. In intervention programs, we have the remedial class and enrichment class. This remedial class tend to help those struggling students who are academically challenged. And at the same time, those students who are actually fast learners can actually help by this kind of enrichment class program. We also have strand-based academic development program leading to research advocacies and culminating activities such as the Research Capstone Project, the Business Enterprise Simulation or the presentation of their um, business products or business proposal and the culminating activities from the youth stand. So this kind of strand-based academic development program will be a scaffold or a guide in order for our senior high school students to lead in this kind of research advocacy and culminating activities. We also have alternative work immersion program wherein we could actually invite different persons in the industry virtually in order to share their experiences, their expertise to our senior high school TVL students during their work immersion session. So this is the co-curricular programs and activities in the senior high school. Now, the last area, but certainly not the least, is the administrative concern for an effective teaching learning process. Now, continuous faculty development for innovative instructions through virtual sessions are being given to us through webinars and graduate study programs. This endeavor can actually help our faculty to hone their skills, their talents, and capabilities in the delivery of instruction and for the help in the skills development of our students. We also have actual research training of top administration, members of the academic council, and selected faculty members to maintain the quality of services and educational delivery to every Ignatian Marian learners. And at the same time, we do not forget to establish linkages in order to help 
and to support the learning progression and the academic development of our students in the senior high school level. So this is the advice of your concern for our effective teaching and learning process area. So ladies and gentlemen, these are the senior high school academic updates based from the curriculum and instruction area of the Paasco. Thank you very much and God bless. Aside from the co-curricular nourishment offered by our institution, SMCM also offers such programs that will help every national market student to increase their faith and life experiences in life. The Christian Formation Center ensures the faith and character formation of the pupils, students, personnel, parents, and alumni of St. Mary's College of May, Hawaiian by offering varied spiritual and community extension activities. The center offers the Christian living as a core of the curriculum, campus ministry and community extension services, and vocation promotion activities. Ministry activities include the daily reading of the Gospel of Administrators, Faculty, NTP, and Maintenance. For this year, students, parents, and alumni will participate in the proclamation of the Gospel of the Day. Live stream Mass will also be available every first Friday of the month and other feast days. All students are encouraged to attend with their families as well, as well as with their classmates, to cultivate a sense of belongingness and bonding with the Lord, and to be nourished by God's grace. Praying of the Rosary has been the culture of the school, and we hope other members of the families will join us. Other campus ministry offerings are Online BSC sessions for students and personnel, recollection, holy art, and other spiritual activities. As our response to the plight of our needy brothers and sisters, the school come up with SMCM donation drive that is for the poor, like community pantry, outreach to our adopted community in Barangay Casa. Virtual Reach Out through do-it-yourself videos and scholarship program to poor and deserving students. Mother Ignatius Core and related values, social realities, across discipline and Bible verse are integrated in Christian living and other subjects to inculcate God's messages. Classes usually come up with an advocacy as their response to the needs and issues of the community. Lastly, to guide all members of the community, the Christian Formation Center is available for conference and consultation on one's call and vocation. Truly, Christian Formation Center adhere to its commitment to nurture Marians and imbibe the virtues of faith, excellence, and selfless service. Technology aids the teaching and learning process and builds 21st century skills. Since the educational landscape has changed from traditional, going to blended learning and flipped classroom, technology and education is present, especially at the height of this pandemic, where it played a big role in the delivery of learning. To discuss and present to us the innovations in the digital assistance directory, let us have Mrs. Jocelyn Aguera, the head of the non-teaching personnel, let us give her a warm virtual applause. Share with you the service offerings of the digital assistance. 
assistance directly package of that. That aims to support the learners with services and activities that are vital for the holistic formation and well-being of the various students. This will be handled by the following service units. The Library and Audio Visual Center. The Library and Audio Visual Center supports online teaching and learning by providing resources and services that assist our library users in their research and information needs. The following are the services offered. Virtual Reference Services. Online Document Delivery. Curbside Pickup Services. Online Library Instruction. And Provision of Electronic Library. Library has subscribed to the in context and the World Book Online. Faculty and students are provided with URL, body name, and passwords for them to explore and obtain access to e books, e journals, audio files, videos, and more. Now let's move on to the next service room. assistance to students through the implementation of online guidance services, ensuring married students' psychological welfare. The following are the services offered. Individual inventory, counseling services, mental health and well-being plan, guidance psychological examination online services, homeroom guidance program, Family and Life Activity. Let us move on to the next service unit, the Health Service Unit. The Health Service Unit promotes the physical and emotional health of students through disease prevention, early case finding, referral for intervention and remediation of specific health problems. The following are the services offered. Online Health Assessment. for online teaching and learning. The following are the services offered. Provision of Microsoft Office 365 and Google Workspace account. Online technical support and online IT classes. The next service unit is the STEM Laboratory. The STEM Laboratory is in full support to instruction with the objective to give quality learning experience to students. For this school year, the laboratory will manage and implement STEM Lab online modules. Let us move on to the next service unit, the Registrar's Office. The Registrar's Office handles information about enrollment, academic records, and class stages. It offers online evaluation of credentials, online enrollment, and online processing of documents such as transcript of records, permanent records, diploma, and others. The last but not the least is the finance office. Online payment services will be observed by the finance office to facilitate payment transactions and to lessen the close contact interaction among students and parents. Online payment will be processed through BPI online banking, GCash, the famous line of Mahatma Gandhi which states, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. We, the service unit team of SMCM, would like to welcome you all for school year 2021 2022. Thank you and have a great day. Aside from providing spiritual and digital formations, 
the school does not stop in catering, nurturing, and honing each and every Ignatian Marians through engaged citizenship and youth empowerment activities and programs. To present to us the magnified student activities for school year 2021-2022, let us have Mr. Jonas Matthew Marquez, the Basic Education Department Student Activity Coordinator. Let's give him a warm virtual applause. Good day, praise be Jesus and Mary. I am Mr. Jonas Matthew Domingo Marquez, your Institutional Student Activity Coordinator for School Year 2021-2022. SMCM Integrated Student Activity Package or SIS supported the academic delivery for School Year 2020-2021 with activities that hold your skills and supported your professional, social, and spiritual development through the provision of different student activities. We have ventured in a new learning environment wherein we raise the bar in offering different activities through contests and programs which highlighted the delivery of the seed package for the previous school year. Last year, we did focus on nurturing your social, spiritual, professional, and skill domains and we will continue to nourish the set domains of development through the offering of student activities and special programs. In addition, this school year, we will do our best to target new areas of learning development which will focus on the areas of leadership development through student council engagement. A thesis-based Ignatian Marian leadership program is on its way to develop skillful leaders manifesting the values of faith, excellence, and service in leading, planning, organizing, and implementing student-centered events, wellness program through webinars and workshops, academic events, and special activity tied up with subject areas and collegiate programs. For our innovations this school year, we will have a daily flag ceremony for K-12. The morning session will take place by 7.30 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. in the afternoon classes. The session will start utilizing the innovation of the CFC area through the Bro Package entitled Ibulong Mukay Bro, which presents a daily gospel reading and reflection. The flag ceremony will be a mixture of audiovisual presentation and live participation of students who will act as leaders of the day. After the flag ceremony, a short kumustahan session will follow wherein class advisors will serve as kumustahan facilitators. The webinar Friday is another innovation for this school year, whereas series of webinars will be offered from students from grade school to college. Webinars that will be interest-based for lower education students and skills and professional development based for the higher education students. The webinar will be aired through Google Meet application or YouTube application premiere for mass viewing. Please take note that K-10 students will have their webinars during third Fridays and senior high school and college students will have their webinars during fourth Fridays. Collaboration with subject areas and college programs will take place, maximizing learning opportunities through student activities, engaging students to participate in school contests, programs, workshops, and the like. Mark your calendars for the following events. The Grand Virtual Family Day will take place this December 2021. Engaging all family members to bond and create meaningful moments together, competing into different activities and contests, and ending the day viewing the second fundraising virtual concert of the institution for St. Mary's College of Make Hawaiian Scholars, entitled Paskong Ignatian Marian Masaya, Makulay, at Mabiyaya. 
the revival of college organizations will be another niche for this school year, creating new horizons for the young professionals in creating and facilitating program-based activities for the college department. Senior high school and college partnership through student activities will still be observed. Youths to education, IT to STEM and TVL ICT, HMPM to TVL HE, and ABA to ABM Strand. This school year, we are aiming to set the bar higher and dreaming to achieve new milestones through our partnership with different organizations, the Alumni Association, and of course, your families. This year, we are committed to offer more external and internal student affairs, essential and significant for your holistic formation. Welcome to St. Mary's College of Makawaya. Thank you for choosing SMCM. We are truly excited to start this journey with you. Together, we will make things happen. Hashtag, learn best at SMCN. Thank you very much, Mr. Marquez, for giving us the glimpse of what awaits the students this new academic year. To give us some heads up with regards to the student discipline, by expectation and netiquette. Let us have Miss Clarita Calara. Let us give her a warm virtual applause. The chilling effect of the COVID-19 pandemic has brought various predicament and great challenges in the lives of everyone. The people behind the academic community of St. Mary's College of Mekawayan are indeed trying their best capacities to adjust in the new educational setup amidst pandemic. With this regard, distance learning system is one of the paramount answers to adjust and continue the education behind the teaching and learning process of the academy. Since St. Mary's College of Megawayan is offering online classes, it creates and establishes online disciplinary rules and regulations that will guide and remind the national Marians the significant role played by self-discipline in their use of technological modalities in their online classes. The following are the online academic discipline that you need to be informed and reminded of. First, attitude during online class. All students are expected to actively participate in their online classes. During screen time, students must log in to Google Meet, turn on their cameras at all time for monitoring and supervision, and put into mute option their microphone while the discussion is going on. However, students can unmute their microphone as per instructed by the teacher to participate in the online class discussion. Avoid unpleasant and any offensive language and gestures that may cause disruption of online classes like howling, unlawful body language, unauthorized snapshots, use of foul language, and secret conversation with classmates during screen time. All students should wear the prescribed school uniform for their online classes. Observe proper grooming and for the girls, never wear makeup. Browsing in any social media site is not allowed during online class unless instructed to do so by the teacher. Second, output submission. Use the official media class to submit or require academic documents to the respective subject teachers. Other options for output submission in case of sudden loss of internet connection are the following email and Microsoft Teams. Third, academic Mary's College of Nicoyan does not tolerate any form of cheating like giving or receiving information on academic tasks. All students should practice the use of citation in APA format for proper referencing of details and information from any 
valid or legal sources. All students are expected to avoid various forms of agency, copyright infringement, and unauthorized reproduction of any part of the SMCM modules. Four, online communication. Students' written and oral communication must be respectful and free of vulgar and belittling or offensive words. All students are expected to communicate regularly with their respective teachers and classmates in order to be updated about the reminders, announcements, and other important information about the school and online class. Queries and clarification related to the topic being discussed in the online class may be done through actual screen time and during consultation period. Other options to communicate or get in touch with the respective teachers in case of sudden loss of internet connection are the following. Email, Microsoft Teams, contact number of the concerned teacher. Fifth, online course materials. All students are responsible for documenting and maintaining course files such as projects, quizzes, portfolios, performance tasks, or any other presentations for monitoring and efficient file management. Digital copy of students' file must be kept safe all the time. Aside from their individual flash drive, students should make use of a cloud-based storage system for systematic digital filing. Sixth, online environment. It is expected that each student should maintain a conducive and decent online venue to experience organized virtual teaching and learning instruction. Sixth, online environment. It is expected that each student should maintain a conducive and decent online venue to experience organized virtual teaching and learning instruction. The following are the reminders for online academic attendance. First, time management. Please be rem reminded that there are two sets of academic schedules to be implemented every day from Monday to Friday, the AM class and the PM class. Lag-in time should be 15 minutes before the start of the class official time. Second, tardiness. A student who failed to log in 15 minutes after the official time is considered tardy. Three tardiness is subjected to a disciplinary sanction equivalent to a one-day absence in the online class. To ensure students' compliance to online class attendance, recurring tardiness or commitment of four times tardiness will subject the students together with his, her parent, or guardian for an online conference with a class advisor. Third, absences. A student may commit reasonable absences due to health issues and other family emergency circumstances. If a student committed two absences without valid reasons, he or she will undergo online conference with his or her respective advisor. Or, cutting classes. The following are considered as cutting classes. Non-attendance of students for their online class 30 minutes after the official time without any valid reason. Leaving the online class without permission, then return to online class after 15 minutes or more. In case a student committed two cutting classes due to different reasons like technical difficulties, poor connectivity, and unexpected health problems, reconsideration in the attendance will be given by the teacher provided that his or her situation will be reported immediately or within the day through different means like email, call, or text. 
free cutting classes committed by the same student will be will subject him or her for one day absence and an online conference with him or her together with his or her parent or guardian by the class advisor. Three cut classes committed by the same student will subject him or her for one day absence and an online conference with him or her together with his or her parent or guardian by the class advisor. All students should uphold and maintain proper utilization of online technology in attending various academic requirements. He or she must remember all the time the ethical and responsible use of online communication or social media in all his or her cyber dealings with anyone. St. Mary's College in Megawayan will not tolerate any form of cyberbullying such as flaming, impersonation, catfishing, denigration, exclusion, outing, cyberstalking, harassment, trolling, and others. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Good day everyone, praise be Jesus and Mary. I am Mrs. Anna Michelle de Galge, the Basic Education Principal of St. Mary's College of Make Hawaiian. And I will share with you a very important activity that our department will go through this school year 2021-2022, and that is the K-12 FASQ Accreditation. Please know that our K-10 is already FASQ Level 3 accredited, and our senior high school passed the preliminary survey visit last February 6 and 7, 2020, and was granted eligibility to apply for a formal survey visit. So let me tell you more about FASQ. It stands for Philippine Accrediting Association of Schools, Colleges, and Universities, and it is a service organization that accredits academic programs which meet standards of quality education. It is a concept based on self-regulation which focuses on evaluation and the continuing improvement of educational quality. It is also a process by which institutions or programs continuously upgrade their educational quality and services through self-evaluation and judgment of peers. Lastly, it is a status granted to an educational institution or program which meets commonly accepted standards of quality or excellence. What are the advantages of being a FASCO accredited school? It gives the institution and its faculty a sense of direction based on a clearer self image It facilitates transfer of students. It provides guidance for parents and students in the choice of worthy schools. And it gives prestige for member schools justified by the possession of quality standards and the continuing effort to maintain them at a high level. What level or status are we at for? It is level 3 for K-10 and formal status for senior high school. Who will conduct the virtual accreditation? They are PAASCO accreditors from different schools and a PAASCO representative. When is the scheduled PAASCO resurvey and formal visit? It will be on March 17 and 18, 2022, Thursday and Friday. As you can see on the screen, these are the areas that the accreditors will be evaluating based on our submitted documents, implementation of programs, and their conduct of class observation and interviews. On the left column are the PASCO areas, and on the right column are the chairpersons assigned to analyze and evaluate the PASCO areas. Let's look at them closely one by one. For philosophy and objectives, the accreditors would want to know our awareness and integration of vision mission in all our plans, programs, and activities. For faculty, they will evaluate the qualification, competence, and performance of our teachers. For curriculum and instruction, they will look into our academic offerings and innovations. Accreditors will also be observing classes and evaluate how teaching and learning are taking place in an online distance education setup. 
For Library and Audiovisual Center, they will evaluate whether the books in the library are updated and being utilized. They will also look into the online services provided by the library and ABC if it really caters the needs of our students in this time of pandemic. For laboratories, this includes science laboratories, computer laboratories, PLE laboratories, speech laboratory, STEM laboratory, and HRM laboratory. For physical plan, K-10, and facilities for senior high school, they will have a virtual tour of the site, campus, rooms, gymnasium, audiovisual room, and mini auditorium. For student services, the creditors would look into the guidance services, the student activity program, clinic, canteen, and transportation service. For administration, K-10, and leadership and governance for senior high school, this includes the SMC and Board of Trustees, administrators, leadership, salaries and benefits of personnel, student and financial administration, public relations, and even our quality assurance system. And lastly, the school and community, they will evaluate the data and our relationship with our adopted community and the social awareness and involvement of the members of the school community. What then are the activities of the two-day virtual program accreditation on March 17 and 18, 2022? These are observation of synchronous classes, meeting with students, teachers, administrators, staff, parents, and alumni, and virtual tour of the school. With this accreditation endeavor of the entire SMCM community, you will be assured that we offer nothing but the best of ourselves and of what we have. Let us continue to support one another in our never-ending quest for quality basic education that our Ignatian Marian learners truly deserve. Thank you very much. God bless and stay safe. From the academics down to the online discipline, these activities, programs, and expectations are part of the innovations for this new academic year. Everything has been prepared at hand before the beginning of the school year. Good morning, Marians. Praise be Jesus and Mary. I am Ms. Sheila Leharder, one of the guidance personnel of the Guidance and Testing Center. I am here to give you some tips to prepare for your online class. To the surprise of no one, online learning is an entirely new experience. You don't have classmates and teachers around you to motivate you and put you in the right mindset. You don't have classrooms to take you away from the distractions like your bed, your cell phone, and your pets. How you prepare for your class is important. You need to find the best way to stay engaged and motivated even if your teacher is not physically there. Good day, Marians. Praise be Jesus and Mary. I am Ms. Sheila Leharde, one of the guidance personnel of the Guidance and Testing Center. I am here to give you some tips to prepare for your online class. Due to COVID-19 pandemic, online learning is an entirely new experience. You don't have classmates and teachers around you to motivate you and put you in the right mindset. You don't have classrooms to take you away from the distractions like your bed, your cell phones, and your pet. As such, how you prepare for your class is important. You need to find the best way to stay engaged and motivated even if your teacher is not physically there. So here are the nine tips to help you to prepare for a productive online class. Tip number one, wake up early. While you don't have to worry about being late to class because of the traffic, it's not an excuse to wake up late. Even if it's just an online class, you still need to prepare yourself. How long does it take for you to shower? 
How much time do you need to prepare and eat breakfast or lunch? Make sure to take all this into account when setting your alarm. Some students prefer to just roll out of bed, attend class, and go back to sleep. But doing so can be a trap. That 10 second walk to your laptop does not give you enough stimulation and movement to actually wake you. You also won't have enough time to prepare your textbook and notes, which can lead to an unproductive session. Tip number two, have a breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And this is not just an empty saying. Many studies have shown that a healthy breakfast can go a long way. Having breakfast not only boosts your metabolism and increases your nutrient intake, but it can also help you concentrate better, leading to an improved performance. Additionally, breakfast provides the glucose your body needs for energy. As a student, these are benefits you don't want to miss. Tip number three, find the ideal spot. Number one rule of online class, step away from your bed. Sure, it's convenient, but it's also the place where you sleep. It's too easy to give in to the soft mattress and fluffy pillow and lie down for just a minute. The next thing you know, class is over and you're marked as absent. Instead of plopping on your bed, go somewhere else. If possible, dedicate a separate room for your classes. Make sure this room is free of distractions such as TV and consoles. Since you'll be using your laptop a lot, try to set a functional workstation. Tip number four, get your workstation ready. Now that you've found your ideal spot, it's time to set up. Do you have all your notes and pens? What about your colorful highlighters? Don't forget your notes and slides. Some study materials may come in digital form. If possible, print them out as it can save you the trouble of having to load them. It also lessens the need for devices which can be distracting. Arrange your pens and highlighters in a mug and get a stock of paper ready to make notes. Even if it's an online class, it's still important for you to jot everything down as it can help you recall your lessons better. Tip number five, keep all distractions away. Distractions are the killers of productivity. How can you trust yourself to study if your PS5 is inches away from you? It's also all too easy to unlock your phone and scroll through Instagram and Facebook. The only way you can avoid is to store all the distractions away. Do you really need your phone for this class? If your answer is no, keep it away. Is Netflix tempting you? Sign out and stay out. If possible, study alone and away from other people. You may, need, you may not be the person who turned on the TV, but it's equally distracting in a way. Of course, we're not asking you to toss your phone. After all, you might need it to refer to online notes and have discussion with your classmates. If that's the case, Find ways to be productive even when you're online. Tip number six, set specific objectives. What exactly are you aiming to achieve in your study today? And how are you planning to achieve those goals? Your productivity can be significantly improved with a simple but specific study plan. Before you start your lesson, Plan out what you're aiming to achieve that day. Outline your lesson objectives. 
study method and the time you are planning to invest. Make sure to include breaks in between to refresh yourself. This is not only helps you to keep track of your progress, but it can also be useful to identify problem areas. An important thing to remember is to be realistic. Even if you did not manage to achieve all your objectives, remember that this is just a guideline. You can always revise your plan to fit your study pace. Tip number 7. Prepare healthy snacks and drinks. Get a plate of healthy snacks and some water. It will give yourself a boost of energy and can help keep you awake and energized. Water is also very important. It can help you digest better and it's a great way to stay awake and alert. So stay motivated and combat fatigue with a big glass of water. Tip number 8. Prepare a list of questions. Sometimes, possibly listening in class is simply not enough to have a deep understanding of the study material. So, it's wise to read through the materials before class and take note of all the questions that you have. The list of questions can come in very handy in increasing your motivation and productivity. By coming up with this list of questions, you're attending your lesson with a clear and defined purpose to find the answers. Not only does this force you to be more attentive and active in class, it's also a great way to keep track of your study progress. Knowing what you don't understand makes it easier to your teacher to help you. If the questions aren't addressed by the end of the lesson, you will always have the option to consult your teacher. And last but not the least, tip number 9, inform your family members. It's not their fault. Sometimes people just don't get it. Even if you have told them several times before, constantly remind your family members that you need to concentrate during your online class and it's crucial that there's peace and quiet in the house. Before class starts, you can put a notice, write on a piece of paper that you're in the middle of the class and put it somewhere where everyone can see. This way, even if they forget, they will know not to disturb you. Online classes are hard. You need to put extra effort to be mentally present and alert. Otherwise, you risk falling behind. Nonetheless, with these tips and some proper planning, you'll be able to sail through your lessons. Good luck, Ignatian Marian learners, and welcome to school year 2021-2022. Some reminders for today. At 10 a.m., all students will proceed to their respective advisory class Google Meet so meet and greet their new classmate and advisor, as well as they will have their short term stand session and the presentation of virtual classroom rules and regulations. And at 11.30 a.m., we will be declaring an early lunch. There you have it, my dearly beloved Ignatian Marians. We have officially begun the academic year 2021-2022. Perfection has to do with the end product, but excellence has to do with the process. Pay attention to your goal, anchor yourself with faith, and continue your passionate service to the less fortunate. In that way, our Ignatian Marian identity will be magnified through the lenses of the society. This has been your moderator, Mr. Mark Gerald M. Shoson. Thank you for attending this year's orientation, Pagmaya 2021. Kausayan at kalaman sa panibagong taong pamparanan. Have a good day and welcome to St. Mary's College of May, Kauayan.